The mean absolute deviation is a measure of dispersion that indicates the average spread of data points in a distribution from the mean. It is defined as the average of the absolute deviations of data from the mean. The formula for mean absolute deviation for ungrouped data or individual series data is given by the summation of all the absolute deviations from the first value to the nth value all divided by n. Sigma here is the summation of values from the first to the last. These double lines are called modulus. It presents the absolute value of whatever is within it. X subscript i is the value of the ith data element, meaning the value of the index data element. X bar is the mean of the data set and n is the number of data elements. Let's use this formula to find the mean deviation of this data set of the ages of all the children who attended an immunization clinic in Samaru Zaria on the 21st of January 2025. What is the mean absolute deviation or the mean deviation from the mean of this data? To begin with, let's represent each of our data points with the proper statistical notation. So this first data point is our x1, the second is x2, then 6 here is x3, 5 is x4, and our x5 is 9. Awesome. We can see from this data that there were only 5 children because there are 5 ages or 5 data points, right? So our number of data values n is equal to 5. Next, we need to find the mean of this data or x bar. To find the mean, we will add all the data values, that is from x1 to x5. We'll add all these values together and divide the sum by the number of data values n. So x bar will be equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 all divided by n. So we'll have x bar is equal to 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5 plus 9 all divided by 5 and that is 25 divided by 5. That's a mean of 5 years. All right. So now we have x1 to x5. We have n as 5 and our mean x bar as 5 years. Now we just need to find the absolute distance between each value from the mean, i.e. we need to find the absolute deviations. And that's the modulus x subscript i minus x bar part of the formula. For the first value x1, the absolute deviation of x1 from the mean will be x1 minus x bar and that will be 1 minus 5, that's minus 4. And when we apply the modulus, the absolute value will be 4. Awesome. Then for x2, it will be 4 minus 5, that's minus 1, and so the absolute value is 1. Then for x3, we will have 6 minus 5, and that will give 1, and the absolute value will be 1. And for x4, we'll have 5 minus 5, and that will be 0, with an absolute value equal to 0. And lastly, for x5, we would have 9 minus 5, with an absolute value of 4. Now we have all the absolute deviations. All that is left is to find the mean of these absolute deviations. Remember the definition of mean absolute deviation is the average of the absolute deviations from the mean. And according to the formula, we will need to sum all the absolute deviations together and divide by n, which is 5. So 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 4, that's 10. And finally, we divide by n, which is 5. So we have 10 over 5, which will give us a mean absolute deviation of 2. So what does a mean absolute deviation of 2 imply? It implies that on average, all the ages of the children attended to on that day were 2 years from the mean age of the data. Easy peasy. So this is how to compute the mean absolute deviation for ungrouped data with individual series. Now if you want to learn how to calculate the mean absolute deviation for group data with discrete series, check out this video popping up now. And for group data with continuous series, check out this other video. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more easy statistical stuff. And as always, thanks for watching.